For nearly a century, humanity has relied on a single story to explain everything we see in the cosmos. A story so powerful it's guided generations of scientists, rewritten textbooks, and even earned Nobel Prizes. It's called the Lambda CDM model, and for decades it has been our cosmic operating system. But what if that system is already obsolete? What if the universe we thought we understood isn't the universe we're actually living in? Because right now, a telescope orbiting a million miles from Earth may have just exposed cracks in the foundation of modern cosmology. Not small cracks, deep ones. And the deeper it looks into space, the more unsettling the picture becomes. This telescope is the James Webb Space Telescope, and it's seeing things no one was prepared for. Webb doesn't just look far away, it looks back in time. Every faint glow it captures began its journey billions of years ago, long before Earth existed, long before the sun ignited. And when Webb aimed at the most ancient regions of the cosmos, places so distant they should reveal the universe in its infancy, it found something shocking. Instead of small, faint, primitive galaxies slowly taking shape, Webb found thousands of objects that shouldn't exist at all. They're too bright, too massive, too dense too evolved. Astronomers stared at the data and said the same thing over and over again. That's not right. According to everything we know, the early universe should have been simple, quiet, sparse, a place where matter was only just beginning to organize itself. Yet Webb is seeing complex structures where complexity should be impossible. For the first time in human history, we've peered beyond what's known as the Cosmic Dark Ages, the period right after the Big Bang when no stars or galaxies were supposed to exist yet. And instead of darkness, Webb found structure, motion, immense luminous objects already fully formed. Objects that appear far too mature for a universe that's only 13.8 billion years old. This isn't a data error. Independent teams across the world are seeing the same thing, and some of the most respected physicists alive, yes, including Nobel Prize winners, are quietly admitting something extraordinary. The early universe may not have looked anything like we assumed. Some are even considering a far more radical possibility. What if the universe didn't begin the way we think it did? What if those distant objects aren't early galaxies at all? What if they belong to something else entirely? To understand why this is such a problem, we need to talk about the model itself. Lambda CDM says the universe is dominated by two invisible ingredients, cold dark matter and dark energy. Together, they control how galaxies form and how the universe expands. According to this model, early galaxies grow slowly. They pull in matter over time, forming stars gradually, there simply isn't enough time or material for massive galaxies to appear just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Yet Webb is seeing galaxies so large and so dense that mathematically they would need more matter than the universe could possibly provide at that stage. The numbers don't work, the physics doesn't work, the timeline collapses. So what exactly is Webb seeing? To answer that, we have to zoom out and rethink how the universe itself behaves. Back in 1929, Edwin Hubble made a discovery that changed everything. He found that galaxies aren't just scattered randomly through space, they're all moving away from each other. Space itself is expanding. And here's the strange part. This expansion has no center. Wherever you are in the universe, it looks like everything else is rushing away from you. Every observer sees themselves at the center of expansion. And it's not just expanding, it's accelerating. The farther away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving away from us. Eventually, you reach a boundary where galaxies are receding at the speed of light. This boundary is called the Hubble Sphere. Beyond it, galaxies are moving faster than light itself. That sounds impossible, but it's not. Nothing is breaking Einstein's speed limit. It's space that's stretching, carrying galaxies along with it. And because the universe keeps expanding, the Hubble Sphere itself grows over time. That means light from some galaxies that were once racing away faster than light can still reach us. Their photons are fighting an expanding universe, climbing a cosmic escalator that's getting longer as they move. But there is a hard limit, a final boundary. 
That boundary defines the observable universe, a vast bubble about 92 billion light years across. Anything inside it can, in principle, be seen. Anything beyond it is forever hidden. At the very edge of that bubble lies the oldest light we can detect, the cosmic microwave background a faint afterglow from when the universe was just 380,000 years old, a snapshot of the cosmos as a newborn. And beyond that, nothing we can ever observe. The most distant galaxy we've ever detected, known as Jade's GS Z14, comes from a time when the universe was only about 290 million years old. We see it as a cosmic infant. But here's the twist. That galaxy is no longer observable today it is already slipped beyond our observable horizon. Whatever it has become, whether it merged into a massive cluster or faded away entirely, we will never know. Its future is permanently hidden from us. And this reveals something profound. The observable universe is not the whole universe. It's just our local window. Somewhere far beyond our horizon, entire regions of space exist that we will never see and never influence. If the universe is infinite, and evidence increasingly suggests that it is, then it was always infinite. The Big Bang didn't happen at a single point. It happened everywhere, all at once. Matter didn't emerge in one location and spread outward. It appeared throughout all of space simultaneously. And the cosmic microwave background we see in every direction is the afterglow of that event reaching us from all sides. That's the standard picture, but Webb may be forcing us to rewrite it. When astronomers aimed Webb at the deepest regions of space, they expected to see the universe learning how to be a universe. Small stars, tiny galaxies, the first tentative steps of structure. Instead, they found brilliance, massive objects shining intensely in a universe that should still be dim. A study published in the Astrophysical Journal identified 87 candidate objects that may have existed just 200 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. Even confirming a handful of them would be a serious problem for cosmology. One of the researchers, Hao Jing Yan, put it bluntly, if these objects are real, our understanding of early galaxy formation is fundamentally wrong. And then came the most disturbing detail of all. In normal galaxies, only about 10% of available gas is converted into stars. The rest remains as gas, fueling future star formation. But Webb's data suggests that some of these early objects converted 100% of their material into stars. No gas, no leftovers, nothing to fuel future growth. That shouldn't be possible not under any known physical law. So scientists are asking uncomfortable questions. Are these even galaxies? Or are we seeing an entirely new class of cosmic object, something that doesn't fit into any existing category? And if they are galaxies, then the implications are staggering. It would mean the Big Bang model as we currently understand it is incomplete or worse. Maybe the universe evolved faster than our theories allow. Maybe gravity behaves differently at cosmic scales. Or maybe the universe we see is only part of a much larger reality. Some physicists are even entertaining ideas that were once considered fringe, cyclic universes, previous cosmic epochs, or structures that predate the Big Bang itself. One Nobel Prize-winning physicist has openly suggested that Webb may have found evidence pointing beyond our universe entirely. That may sound extreme, but so did the idea of an expanding universe until it wasn't. Right now, we don't have answers, only data. And the data is telling us something important. The universe is not finished surprising us. And as the Webb telescope continues to peer deeper into space and further back in time, one thing is becoming increasingly clear. The story we've been telling ourselves about the cosmos may only be the beginning. The universe just got a lot more interesting.